Welcome to another series of our video lecture about number system and on this video we are going to talk about subtraction of signed binary. So let's have some examples of this. So number one, let's say we have this given. Okay, so if you can still remember, in binary, if the most left side contains one, then it means that it is a negative binary. So we have zero here. So this means that the first given is a positive binary number. And for the second given, we have negative here for our most left side bit, which we call the sine bit. And this is one. So it means that this is a negative number. So let's find the decimal form of this so that we can check that if we do the subtraction, the number that we get from the decimal is the same as we get from the binary so this is basically 54.375 and this one is negative 52.375 okay so how did we get negative 52 out of this binary okay so i'm expecting that you have already watched a video for to complement and that is the reason why we were able to get negative 52 out of this binary because we applied to complement on this and it turns out that this binary here is equivalent to negative 52.375 all right so let's try simplifying this binary even the operation is subtraction so we have to apply addition why because this is already in the form of to complement okay so this becomes addition so one plus one that is 0 carry 1 and then again 1 plus 1 plus 0 again 0 carry 1 1 plus 0 plus 1 0 carry 1 then let's place the point here 1 plus 0 plus 1 because basically we just ignore the 0 here just go ahead with 1 and 1 and 1 plus 1 that is 2 and the way to do it is just write 0 here and then 1 at the next column then 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 3 and 3 is 1 carry 1. So 1 plus 1 plus 0, it is just 0 and 1. And then this is still 0 and 1. And then 0 and 1. 0 and 1. 0 and 1. 0. And just drop here the 1. Okay, so this becomes an overflow. And... As what I have said in the previous videos that we have, overflows are usually discarded. We get rid of this. So just get rid of that overflow so that you can maintain an 8-bit binary number. Okay, so let's check. So this is basically equivalent to 0 0.0. Okay, so let's try performing subtraction on this side. 5, 5, that is 0. And 7, 7, that is 0. 3 and 3, 0. 4 and 2, okay, that is 2. And then 5 and 5, that is 0. Okay, so meaning we have only 2 for our answer. And it seems that our answer in binary is the same as with our decimal. Okay, so this time let's try a different example. Let's say the given is in decimal form. So let's say we have negative 28.25 minus 19.50. Let's try getting the binary form of this given. Okay, so it turns out that this one is, okay, there you go. And this one is, all right. So this is now the positive form of negative 28.25 and the positive form of negative 19.50. Remember, we are subtracting negative 28 to 19. And negative sign here is not just an operation, but it is also the sign of this given, negative 19.50. So meaning we have to apply to complement on this given. So we have already the positive form. 
let's try getting the two's complement of this. And that is 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. And for the second given, this is 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So now let's perform addition on this two's complement binary. So remember that whenever you apply two's complement, the operation is no longer subtraction. Instead, it will become addition. So let's add 1, 0. This is 1, 1, 1. This becomes 0, carry 1. 1, 1, again, 0, carry 1. 0, carry 1. So whenever you have two ones, just add 0, carry 1. Still 0, carry 1. And 1 here. Then 0, carry 1. And then 1, 1, 1, that is 3. So let's write here 1 and then carry 1. Another 3 here. 1 and then no more numbers that we can place our carry. So let's just drop our carry right next to our previous answer. But this becomes the overflow. So we have to discard this. Alright, so this is now our answer. Okay, so the sign bit here is 1. So it means that our answer is negative. Okay, so this is negative. Okay, so for now let's leave this. And let's proceed to our decimal and let's perform the operation stated on our given. So we have negative 28.25 minus 19.50. So instead of doing subtraction here since we have similar sign. So instead is that we are going to do addition on this problem. So 5 plus 0 that is 5. 5 plus or 2 plus 5 that is 7. And then 8 plus 9, that is 17. And then 1 plus 2 plus 1, that is 4. So this is negative 47.75. So let's check if this answer here in decimal is the same as our answer here in binary. Okay, so let's try getting the two's complement of this. So we have to invert this so that we will know the positive form of this binary in decimal. So the two's complement is, so we have to copy this one and then flip the bits. Zero, one, zero, zero. All right, so there you go. So this is one, Two, four, eight, sixteen, and thirty-two. So let's add this all together, and this becomes ten, fourteen, seventeen. Carry one. That is four. Okay. So we know that the whole number here is forty-seven. How about the fractional part? So that is point fifty plus point twenty-five. That is 0.75. This is 0.50 and this is 0.75. I mean 0.25. So add them together. This becomes 0.75. Okay, so it means that we were able to get a correct answer because this one is equal to this. For our last example, right here negative 58.375 minus negative 36.125 okay so again this is subtraction but all of our givens have negative signs so meaning we have to apply to complement to each given here Okay, but before we apply to complement, let's write first the positive form of this decimal into binary. The positive form of negative 58.375 is, and for negative 36.125 is, 
So this is not a positive form. Now let's try applying to complement on this binary here. Okay. So the two complement of the first given. Uh, before we apply two complement on the second given, remember that this is negative thirty six, and this symbol here, the minus sign, is also part of the symbol of negative thirty six. So meaning negative, negative. And this becomes positive. So therefore, there's no need for us to apply to complement of this. Because negative, negative, it turns out that this will become positive. So this becomes positive 36.125. So there's no need for to complement on the second given. So let's just write here 0, 0, 1, 0. So just copy everything from the second given. And then perform addition okay, so let's add the zero carry one one and then one point one zero zero carry one one zero one 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 all right so this is now our answer so let's try solving this so they are not similar in signs so meaning we have to do subtraction and then obey or follow the number with the highest sign. So let's subtract 5 and 5. This is 0. 7 and 2. This is 5. 3 and 1. This is 2. Then point 8 and 6. This is 2. And then 5 and 3. This is 2. And the highest number is negative 58. That is why this is negative 22. So let's check if this is really negative 22 also. So, for us to check if this binary is negative 22.25, so let's apply it to complement. To complement. So, this becomes 0, 1, this becomes 0, and then 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. Alright, so let's count. So, on the fractional part, we know that this is 0.25. For this, this is 1, this is 2, 4, 8, and 16. We cancel those with zeros. And what is left is just 16 plus 4, that is 20, plus 2, that is, that is 22. So, this becomes 22. So, meaning we have a correct answer. This number here is 22.25, which is the same as with our decimal. So that's all. Thank you for watching.